The journey to Mars is a feat of human engineering and endurance. It can take anywhere from six to eight months, depending on the spacecraft's speed and trajectory. We must first know the distance between Mars and Earth before we can determine how long it will take us to reach it. While Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, it is the second closest to Earth Venus is closest. However, as Mars travels around the Sun, the distance between Mars and Earth changes. Based on their position in their respective orbits, Mars and Earth are approximately 34 million miles apart at their closest approach, which occurs every 26 months. As a result of this variability, it is difficult to give an exact answer to the time it takes to reach Mars. It can be up to 250 million miles at its furthest. Getting to Mars also depends on the speed of the spacecraft. NASA's Parker Solar Probe, which traveled at over 430,000 miles per hour, was the fastest spacecraft to ever be launched by humans. The Mars 2020 mission, which launched in July 2020, is expected to travel at an average speed of 78,000 miles per hour, but spacecraft traveling to Mars typically travel at much slower speeds. In a science fiction world, a spacecraft would launch from Earth and travel directly to Mars. It would be a faster trip, but real space travel is much more complicated. During their furthest distance from the Sun, when they are on opposite sides of the star, the two planets are 250 million miles apart. Earth and Mars are 140 million miles apart on average. Developing nuclear rockets for space exploration is driven primarily by time. In theory, nuclear rockets will travel much faster than conventional rockets, allowing astronauts to reach Mars more quickly. Engineers on Earth keep close tabs on the mission during the trip to Mars. Among the major activities are, maintaining and checking the health of spacecraft, the monitoring and calibration of the spacecraft's onboard subsystems and instruments, making attitude correction turns, slight spins to keep the antenna pointed toward Earth for communications, and the solar panels pointed toward the Sun for power. Preparing for atmospheric entry by conducting navigation activities, such as trajectory correction maneuvers, to determine and correct the flight path. The last three correction maneuvers are done during approach. During entry, descent, and landing, EDL, and surface operations, communications are tested, including the communications to be used during EDL. The mission is timed to take advantage of the optimal positioning of Earth and Mars in their respective orbits, wherein a lower amount of fuel is needed for its journey. Generally, when Earth and Mars are close together, the trip can last between 6 to 8 months, but this may differ based on other factors such as the launch window, speed of spacecraft and the alignment of planets. Future crewed missions to Mars face a major hurdle due to transit time. The longer the journey, the greater the risk. It depends on several factors, such as the position of the planets and the technology used to propel you there, how long would it take to travel to Mars? Approximately 9 months would be needed to travel to Mars one way, according to NASA. All in all, a round trip would take about 21 months if you wanted to go back home after spending about 3 months on Mars to ensure Earth and Mars are in a suitable position. In less than 2 months, Elon Musk plans to launch orbital test flights of his Starship spacecraft, which will carry people to the Moon and Mars. The SpaceX CEO made the comments during an evening presentation at SpaceX's facility in Boca Chica, Texas, with the gigantic shiny spacecraft glowing in the background. In 2016, Musk revealed plans for the rocket, updating them and calling it the Big Falcon Rocket, BFR, in 2017. In 2017, he revised the design once again and changed its name to Starship. With a height of 118 meters, it is capable of carrying about 100 people to the Moon or Mars. Mars-bound spacecraft must also slow down and enter orbit around the planet, which requires precise calculations and maneuvering, as well as the use of specialized engines. In order for space travel to become as practical as air travel, he said, a rapidly reusable orbital rocket must be created. Spaceship will fulfill this criterion, he said. Within the next one to two months, Musk plans to fly Starship to 65,000 feet and land back on Earth. With today's technology, burning more fuel could shorten the trip, but that is not ideal. At the time, the proposals didn't gain much traction. But the challenge inspired engineers to design innovative propulsion systems that don't yet exist. NASA is now funding the development of leading contenders. NASA is particularly interested in nuclear propulsion systems. According to NASA's CHI, spacecraft currently rely largely on chemical propulsion. You take an oxidizer and fuel, combine them, and they combust, generating heat. You then accelerate that heated product through a nozzle, he says. It has been known for decades that a nuclear rocket can generate more thrust with significantly less fuel than an equivalent chemical rocket, but they haven't built one yet. Despite their previous nuclear propulsion projects, 
NASA did not speculate how fast rockets powered by nuclear power could reach Mars. Humans are expected to land on Mars sometime in the 2030s. Part of this plan involves NASA's Artemis mission, which aims to land the first woman and first person of color on the moon within the next decade. They hope to gain a better understanding of what's needed for human missions to Mars and beyond by returning to the moon. Besides the travel time, other factors need to be considered when planning a Mars mission. As well as being able to withstand the harsh radiation environment of space, the spacecraft must also be equipped with life support systems so astronauts can survive the journey and their stay on Mars. In spite of the challenges, there is renewed interest in exploring Mars and exploring the potential for human settlement on the planet. NASA is planning to send humans to Mars in the 2030s, while NASA is also cooperating with private companies such as SpaceX. To conclude, a trip to Mars requires careful planning and engineering since it is a long and challenging journey. It usually takes six to eight months for the spacecraft to reach the two planets, depending on factors such as distance and speed. As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, it is likely that we will see more missions to Mars and new technologies that make the journey faster and more efficient.